Now let's continue on Boolean algebra and solve some simple problems with multiply variables. Let's take this one. A plus AB. If it was a problem of uh, uh, algebra of real values, that would be not possible to simplify any further. But in Boolean algebra, yes, we can. We can take A out of brackets because we know that uh, A is actually A multiplied by 1. So it will be A then brackets 1 plus b yes and now now you can see that actually uh, some variable plus 1 is always 1 you see we know that all this expression inside the uh, parenthesis is 1 so the whole expression will equal a multiplied by 1 or just simply a. Yes, let's uh, let's do another one. Uh, a plus b multiplied by a plus c. So let's start and multiply these uh, two brackets. It would be a a plus uh, a c plus b a plus b c as, as you can see already all the rules about how you open brackets and how you flip around variables are the same as in uh, algebra of uh, uh, real values that's why I didn't uh, discuss that so what 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 do we have here we have a multiplied by a and you actually can see that a multiplied by a is a so we know that this guy is actually just a let's uh, let's write it down it's already simpler so it's a plus ac plus b a plus b c uh, well what we can do with that further we can uh, take out a out of brackets in uh, uh, in this expression, let's let's take a out of brackets because we remember that a is actually a multiplied by one. So if we take a out of brackets, it will be a multiplied by one plus c, and uh, rewrite b a plus b c. As you can see, it, it, it should look familiar to you. This this particular one. We did the same thing with uh, this problem. We know that some variable plus 1 in Boolean algebra will always equal 1. Yeah, as the rule says. Yeah, so we know that uh, this uh, expression inside uh, brackets is 1. So let's rewrite it. So the whole thing will be a, yeah, multiplied by 1, but that's a, plus ba plus bc Wow, and you can see that uh, we can do the same trick again we can do exactly the same trick uh, here we can take a out of the brackets as we did here and here uh, and what do we get a multiplied by 1 plus b and plus bc and again again we remember that this one will be 1 because of this rule if some variable plus 1 then it's 1 as well so the whole expression will be uh, a plus bc and that's uh, the answer so you can see we went uh, all the way from from this expression to this one yes that's uh, how we simplify Boolean expressions. That's that's one of the ways. Uh, afterwards, I will tell you some other ways as well. Uh, and so let's uh, let's take some other simple problems, uh, like like this one. Uh, another one, another problem. This will be simple one. A plus a multiplied by a inverted. 
Yes, that uh, looks very simple. We can do more or less the same trick we were doing all the way up. We take A out of the brackets and we have A plus A negated. Then, uh, yeah, of course, uh, we know that something plus uh, 1 will be always 1. But does it work with negated values? No. Oh. Yeah, we can, we can check that. If you're not sure, but yeah, it's, it's actually work. But we can check it. We can put, uh, instead of A, we can say that if A equals 1, A equals 1, then A negated will equal 0. And then 1 plus 0 will equal 1. And if A, a equals 0, then A negated will equal 1. And 1 plus 1 equals 1. Yeah. As right here. Yeah, it's, it's, I bet it's obvious to you right now. I just wanted to show you then. Uh, if sometimes you are just not sure uh, uh, if there is a negated value, how is this change things around, you just can check it uh, with the rules above, with this one from the uh, last video. So we know we again we know that all this expression will be one, and the resulting will be just a a multiplied by one or just a. And that's that's simple. Let's take uh, another one. A B plus A B negated. And for this one, I suppose you can just pause this video, take a piece of paper and just uh, play around with that. I bet, I bet it will be super easy to you to simplify this expression. Now you, you can, but uh, of course you can follow me. But I think it would be uh, fun to simplify that. You can pause the video, wait, try to solve it and then see how I do that right now and how what the way will be so I would take a out of brackets yeah it's like the thing we done so many times before already today and inside the brackets we will have b plus b negated hmm that's maybe something new we should check something plus something negated yeah here it is a plus a negated will equal 1 well, something plus something negated will equal... Oh, someone calling me by mistake. What, what will A plus A negated will equal 1? That means that B plus B negated will also equal 1. So the whole expression again will equal A or A multiplied by 1. Yeah, I bet you did this, this one right. If not, if not, you probably uh, don't remember these rules, and you actually you shouldn't remember that. Uh, I have them on my website, or they're, they're actually all around the internet, if you search for Boolean algebra. But if you're watching this video from my web website, which is www.kelesev.com, then all these rules, they are in, in a nice table not with my bad handwriting so you can easily easily check every expression uh, instead of rewinding this video let's do another one what do we have here a negated plus b multiplied by a negated yeah you should uh, you could try solve this and pause the video and uh, you, you could do that uh, with any further uh, problem with no notice. Uh, you have all the theory, you know all the rules of this uh, game called Boolean Algebra. You can just go ahead and uh, uh, try to solve that.